if you are writing gate civil 2025 exam then this video is for you because a lot of students have doubt sir you have taught engineering mathematics course which is common to all branch but my branch is civil engineering so how will i know which chapters i have to study which chapters i have to leave moreover which topics i should leave as per my official syllabus do not worry everything would be covered in the today's video just watch the video till the end okay first of all on shrenik jain study simplified app you will get two courses one is hindi course of engineering mathematics other is the english course right now in both the courses the content remains the same the difference is about the speaking style in english everything would be taught in english slides are in english in hindi the slides are in english पर मैं बातें करूंगा हिंदी में समझाऊंगा आपको हिंदी में जैसे अभी आपसे बातें कर रहा हो राइट सो दिस इज दी ओनली डिफरेंस एंड ऑल्सो इन दी कंटेंट सेक्शन यू विल सी एट चैप्टर्स आई हैव टॉट इन टोटल फर्स्ट इज लीनियर अलजिब्रा देन इज कैलकुलस प्रोबिलिटी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वेक्टर कैलकुलस देन वी हैव कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल देन न्यूमेरिकल मेथड एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म थियरी इन टोटल एट चैप्टर्स आई हैव टॉट राइट यू डो नॉट हैव टू स्टडी एवरीथिंग Also, if you are counting like this in civil, I have one, two, three, four, five, five chapters only, right? So I have to study five chapter out of eight. No, that is also not true. Okay, let us dive into the IIT Roorkee official syllabus for the civil branch. First is linear algebra. Let us go step by step. In linear algebra, you might see only three topics: matrix algebra, system of linear equation, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So you might be thinking, oh, only three topics I have to study. That is not true. In linear algebra, I have taken ten lectures. All the lectures you have to watch. No lecture can uh, can be skipped. Now you may argue why. Then I will give you the clarity. Okay. When they say system of linear equation, it requires the concepts of rank of matrix. When they say eigenvalues and eigenvectors, it requires the concepts of basic sum matrices, operation on matrices, inverse, adjoint, determinant. Every concept is needed to get this advanced topic eigenvalues and eigenvectors. understood and matrix algebra itself means the operation on matrices the basics of matrices right but sir uh, the miscellaneous concept which you have taught in this lecture it consists of linear decomposition concept and much more concepts so should we study all this miscellaneous concept yes because in the previous year paper of civil branch those concepts were asked hence you have to study them so i told you in start only that uh, you have to study every lecture just to give you the clarity why i just went further to explain each and everything now coming to the calculus if you believe me all the topics are mentioned here and uh, all the topics are conducted in this folder which is calculus folder 12 lectures you have to watch but you may argue now that now sir the doubt is uh, there are some more topics gradient divergence curl vector and this all these things you have not covered in the calculus folder because it is the part of vector calculus so this is the third chapter vector calculus so vector calculus is here and you will get each and everything here so all the seven Uh, videos you have to watch okay and basics of vectors are needed to study those curl divergence and all these things advanced topics of vector calculus so everything you have to study in the vector calculus folder also so linear algebra complete calculus complete vector calculus complete i hope up till now it's clear now comes the differential equation again complete okay so this is differential equation complete folder you have to study plus you might argue now this fourier series is not there in your uh, differential equation because it is the part of the transform theory so this is the next okay so this was the fourth chapter differential equation now this is fifth as per your syllabus which is transform theory in a transform theory folder in transform theory folder now it's a star mark here why star mark because fourier series you have to study but laplace transform you do not have to study okay laplace transform you do not have to study because laplace transform is not there in your syllabus as per gate civil 2025 so that you can avoid understood so up till now what is omit from transform theory laplace transform is omit up till now then comes uh, the next uh, syllabus that is probability and statistics again a star mark why star mark you do not have to study everything from probability okay because if you click on pro probability you will see all this lectures all this lectures 
okay and in all these lectures you will see that i have conducted some more lectures which is here okay hypothesis testing it is not there in your syllabus if you see carefully the chi square distribution t distribution z distribution it is not there so you do not have to study the hypothesis testing otherwise everything you have to study because this sampling distribution of sample mean is a part of sampling theorem so that you have to study and this conditional probability is basics of probability this is statistics this is random variable this is probability distribution this is linear regression which is uh, the topic linear regression is nothing but correlation and regression which is part of linear regression right so all these lectures you have to watch except the hypothesis testing understood so in probability star mark was there transform theory star mark was there otherwise every folder you have to study completely this is the seventh numerical method again complete folder you have to study this eighth chapter as per your syllabus complex variable this you can omit because it is not there in your syllabus so what you have omitted let me give you the conclusion what you should not study complex variable folder you should not study in a transform theory laplace transform not study in a probability hypothesis not study and that's it one topic two topic one chapter okay so two topics and one chapter you should omit otherwise the complete course you have to watch i hope you got the clarity about the topics and about the syllabus what to study what not to study and yes sir, that's it for today i hope you enjoyed the video